Sasquatch. I bet you have. For this reason, our team came up with an app to solve the problem of parking. Originally, our team came up with three different ideas to validate, but only one turned out successful. Each team member took these ideas and validated between three different people to see which one would hold the most promise. The first pain we validated was having to heat up food before you scooped it or spread it, like butter and ice cream. As we validated with adults, we found that that product already existed, and as we validated with students, we found that they would have taken the 10 extra seconds to heat up their food instead of buying a whole new product, because we're all broke. <laughs> the second idea we came up with was an app that would ping other people around you if you ever felt endangered. We imagined that this would be used in bars specifically, but as we validated, we found that in Utah, people didn't really use it, and it, we only had like two bars, and that people thought Utah was a relatively safe area. So we decided to continue forward with our parking app idea. Um, this validated really well with college students because parking has always been an issue. Um, whether you're going to your friend's apartment complex or going to one of the football games, there's always not enough parking. So often people got booted or towed or received a ticket because there was such a lack of parking. As we validated with adults, especially those with small children, we found that it was a pain for them to have to take their families, park far away, and then walk to events like a football game or a carnival. As we validated our app with them, they said that they would use it and so they could find a closer parking spot so they wouldn't have to walk those long distances with whiny children. The app is so easy to use. You just open the app, you find the location where you want to park, and you ping that location saying you want to park there. You can look up how much it costs to park near uh, stadiums or in neighborhoods, and if you're uh, not parking, you can go and report other places and other lots that may be open. So ultimately, our app solves the pain of walking long, long distances and the stress of finding a parking spot and allows you to visit your friends and family. We decided to design our app similar to that of Waze, where users can upload their parking spots and then people can reserve them um, based on whether they're in the area and then as soon as one's made available it also notifies those within a reasonable distance that that spot is available and we know that we need a large network in order for this app to be successful so we decided that we would want to sell 10 percent of our company in venture capital in order to um, create a large network and that way it would be successful for future users of the product. We surveyed over 120 people about using ParkWatch, and almost everyone said they loved it. Uh, most people said they wouldn't be willing to pay for the app, but they wouldn't mind seeing ads every now and then. We also learned through our validating that uh, a lot of other parking apps already existed, which led to us pivoting and making ours more user-based. Celebrity influencers like Sasquatch behind us, our go-to market strategy emphasizes the importance of user-to-user -user communication and word of mouth. Our primary demographic was young adults ages 18 to 30, and our secondary demographic would be older generations. We found these people typically have spa parking spaces available for rent or would find themselves in situations where they were searching for parking in a big city or at a special event. So we feel like this app could be beneficial in many ways. For scalability, ParkWatch wants to focus on local residents to increase the number of renters as well as the number of parkers using the app and focus on local partnerships with colleges, BYU, U of U, uh, U of U, as well as local stadiums such as Real Salt Lake, etc. And for the long run, we want to be able to scale the app with um, companies such as Waze and Google. And hopefully by doing this, we can be acquired further on and um, sell the company. We also plan on doing this by creating partnerships with um, other stadiums and things such as theme parks like Disneyland, SeaWorld, and all of those places outside of Utah so it can, it can be um, a nationwide used app to be able to um, relieve the stress of day-to-day -day parking. 
As part of our business model, we are not just designing an app, but creating a community of users that work together to solve parking issues. Looking at our customer demographic, we'll be looking at anyone that owns a vehicle, and if you have a space to lease, then that applies to you as well. As part of our cost structure, users will be able to rent their space at their own rates, and we'll also provide suggested rates. Revenue for the company will come from a 10% charge applied to each transaction, as well as in-app advertisements. When we're looking at our marketing channels, we're going to focus primarily on Instagram advertisements, as well as on-campus advertisements and publicity that comes along with um, the purchase of an event ticket, so it would be on the back of your event. But if you're not into apps, you should just buy a motorcycle.